Hi everyone, I'm Matt Murphy with uh, Boston PHP and uh, we're here to uh, talk about our upcoming event which we're calling uh, Founders Night which is taking place on December 4th. It's Wednesday, December 4th from 6 to probably about 9 o'clock. We do free pizza from about 6 to 7 then our main our main presentation will take place. So this is going to be a great event. We're going to have a, a, a panel of founders, uh, tech company founders in the Boston area. And uh, I'm really happy to uh, be with Steve Conine uh, this evening. How are you doing, Steve? Good. Very good. Uh, so for, for anybody out there who might not know, Steve is the, uh, the chairman, the co-founder, and the CTO of Wayfair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And so, we're not really that big on titles, but those are uh, my <laughs> official, I guess. They're all accurate, I hope, right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, that's good. Okay, so uh, Wayfair has become just a, a total powerhouse in in the Boston technology scene. Can you tell us a little bit about Wayfair? Sure. So um, we started Wayfair back in 2002, myself and Neeraj Shah. Uh, it was called CSN Stores for the first nine years of its life. Uh, we rebranded it as Wayfair just two years ago. We subsequently have shut down all our microsites, and we've redirected all that traffic over the course of 12 months into just Wayfair. And then 12 months ago, so about just over a year ago now, we started doing uh, kind of a big TV advertising brand push to make the world know who Wayfair is. Um, we've grown basically from two guys in a room to this year we'll do just over a billion in total revenue. So it's, uh, it's been an interesting time. It's unbelievable. And just a few other stats that I, I've heard about. You guys were ranked one of the best places to work in the country, right? I think you're, yeah. you were ranked like top 20 places to work in the country. Yeah. You've got over 1,000 employees. A huge chunk of those employees are in Boston, right on Huntington Ave. Yep. Right? You know what's um, cool? We were the number one job creator for, for growth companies in Massachusetts last year. Wow. 18 nationally. So we, we've, been, uh, we've been quite a job creator, which is exciting, yeah. too. That is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, so when you you started this, you and a friend of yours, yeah. you had you had founded other companies before. Uh, did did you ever think that it would be where it is now? Did you have a clear vision for that? Or <laughs> just oh wow, that all just happened. I, you know, we wanted to grow something big, but uh, I, you know, the, we definitely didn't have a clear vision. Um, we're very much a sort of. Uh, learn through iteration shop and even in the early days we were very much a learn through iteration team and just you know we, we had big goals in mind we knew e-commerce was a big market we knew we could grow it into a big company and we've iterated into basically being uh, a, a very dominant player in the e-commerce space in the home yeah and I think you guys are correct me if I'm wrong here but you're the number one online uh, retailer for home household goods is that right yeah. Yeah, for the home category, yes, yes. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. They have it right here in Boston, and, you know, we're starting to make a name for, for Wayfair, and, yeah, it's, it's exciting. We're, we're really excited to see where we can continue to take it. Yeah, and, and quick question about being a technical co-founder, right? So when you're a, when you're a technical guy, you're CTO, um, are, you, are you actually checking in code? I mean, are you writing code? What, hap what is the life of a, of yeah, a, of a yeah. technical co-founder when they, when they reach 1,000 employees? <laughs> um, yeah, I try to check in code at least once a month, and I've been pretty good about that. Unfortunately, you know, I don't get to do the fun, sexy projects anymore. I end up doing the sort of like, man, this has been annoying me for a while, and I'm just going to get in there and spend an hour and bang this out. And use it as an as an excuse to you know keep current on our tools, make sure my dev environment is current. Yeah, uh, just kind of you know familiar, make sure I'm familiar with the workflow that everyone's uh, that we're forcing everyone else to use. So um, I try to keep doing that and you know get myself uh, you know involved in, in actually building code that way. But it's a bummer because I I you know I as you can imagine the first you know whatever six eight years of this business I I coded a huge amount of my time. Yeah, and sort of you know it's been interesting as my career has been forced to change as we've gotten bigger to sort of, you know, get excited about the new challenges that uh, kind of larger engineering management brings with it. Yeah. And, and so we, uh, for those people who don't know, Wayfair has been a big friend of Boston PHP for the last few years. You guys do, a, you guys sponsor our Northeast PHP. You're always at our job fairs. Um, but when, so when we started, I've been at, at Boston PHP for a while, and when we started talking to Wayfair people, you guys were going through two gigantic uh, changes. You were moving your your 
code base primarily from .NET yep. uh, to uh, to PHP, and at the same, I think at the same time, from what I remember, you were also rebranding something like over a hundred individual sites into <laughs> in, uh, into the one Wayfair uh, into the one Wayfair site, and I, I just I thought at the time that those were two of the gutsiest moves <laughs> that any company could take. And you were doing them, I think, in parallel. Um, yeah. I, I, we'll talk a lot about this uh, in uh, at our event in December. But um, what was that like? I mean, just it, you know, that process. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was interesting. 2011 was an interesting year in the life cycle of our business. So um, we were actually even worse than .NET. We were using classic ASP. Uh, okay. I didn't, our, know, okay, our, I didn't know that. You know, it's a real simple VB scripted, just server side scripting environment. Um, and yeah, we, we basically made the decision that we're going to convert the entire uh, business to PHP. Actually, just I think at the beginning of probably this summer here, we finally had a kill uh, ASP kind of celebration day uh, where we got 100% on PHP on the on the front end of our entire business. Wow. Um, yeah, doing that tech change and the evolution of taking a business from you know two guys in a room kind of banging out and trying to get a prototype to market, trying to then turn the prototype into a, a functioning. Um, you know, platform, and then taking that and scaling that, and then splitting it apart and trying to get it bigger, has been a really interesting evolution and journey for us. And then the rebranding, um, you know, in 2011, threw a whole other sort of wrench in the business side of it, and um, it created, you know, some uh, very unpredictable <laughs> months in the business and trying to, you know, figure out how it was going to impact our SEO and how it was going to change. Um, the nature of, of how we thought about the way we built our platform was was a really interesting problem to, to have to go through. But um, we're you know we now that you've gotten through it, and you look back on it, it looks like a brilliant decision. But I tell you, at the time, we definitely had several you know we'd have we'd had several heated meetings where we would kind of debate whether we'd made the right decision or not, both right. on the tech front as well as on the business side. But uh, but you know now we're glad we did it, and now we feel you know you feel like you're you made the right decision. Yeah, no, I, I can only imagine. Amazing. So, I mean, I think you've got such a story to tell here. Your path is so interesting. You, you've seen, you've seen pretty much every step of a business that I, I mean, more than I, I think most most anybody in the area could ever share. You've seen every every phase of a startup through you know huge growth, and you're 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 a huge player right now. In the space, and it looks like your trajectory is, you know, only upward. So, uh, we, yeah, we are thrilled to to have you uh, uh, at this event uh, in December. Um, we really can't thank you enough for for being a part of this. Um, uh, we're, we're excited to be part of the PHP community. I think it's it's so cool for us to not be a software business where we can really give back to the open source community and can really try to help further technology for everyone that we've really tried to embrace that more as we become more mature as an engineering organization. So we're excited about it. Great. Well, look, we really look forward to it. Uh, just a reminder, so I'll say it again, the event is uh, it's uh, Wednesday, December 4th, uh, free pizza from 6 to 7, and then the main, uh, the main conversation uh, with the panel from about 7 to 9. Um, Steve, we really appreciate it. Thanks for doing the interview, and uh, thanks very much for uh, being on our panel. We'll, we'll see you in December. Sounds good. Okay, thanks. Thanks, thanks for watching, everybody.